Oh. Oh, oh. What is this? Package for me. There's some we've got in a box. Straight into the post box. <laughs> oh yes. What do we have here? Oh, we've got something new here. Pretty excited about this. Let me just straighten the cam, cam here a little bit. Package came today from DHL and I want to see what's inside. Pretty stoked. Um, this is a carbon plate shoe, if you're wondering. Uh, I've got an addiction with carbon plate running shoes a little bit. Uh, busy testing out different shoes, trying to find out what's the fastest carbon plate racing shoe out there. And uh, I think this one might be it. Might just be. Let's have a look. Any guesses in the comments below? Do you guys, uh, what guys do you, what shoe do you guys think is the fastest carbon? Oh wait. wait, who's this from? This is from Brooks. So this is the Brooks Hyperion Elite 2, so the second version. Uh, I watched way too many reviews from uh, Jamie Reviews uh, on the shoe and on other shoes and uh, I'm really excited to give this one a try out. Um, carbon plate racing shoe, as I said before, pretty awesome colorway. Um, I've noticed some things as well, some interesting things with the shoelaces as well. They've got um, kind of like notches here in the shoelaces. I heard that's kind of to stop the shoelaces sliding around a bit. Uh, Kind of a funky back heel to this thing that kind of flares up at the back. It kind of looks like another shoe out there, the Nike. You guys know which one I'm talking about. Um, and yeah, this is kind of, yeah, apparently this is a very, very soft shoe. So I'm a big fan, obviously, as I've said before, into soft shoes. And I'm going to give this one, this is my initial review. I've just seen the shoe, haven't run it, obviously, as you can see, I've just taken it out of the box. Um, but yeah, big shout out first to Brooks uh, Netherlands as well, Brooks Benelux as they call it. And uh, yeah, Brooks in general is for sending me the shoe to test out. Um, so they sent me the shoe to try out. I get to keep it, which is pretty dope. And um, yeah, quite excited to give it a try, uh, to tell the honest truth. Sorry, I'm still in my cycling kit. I just came back from a two hour ride, did some bike intervals, but uh, back onto the Brooks shoe. Uh, this is a marketing sample, which is pretty cool. So it's a sample shoe. This probably is not available. Um, yeah, c color is silver and nightlife color, uh, as well as white. And yeah, it's got DNA flash foam. So I've heard some things about the new foam from Brooks, uh, which is the DNA flash foam. Uh, heard great things about it. Heard it's really soft. Uh, let me just think my initial, initial thoughts here. We have a bend test. Quite firm. Quite a firm shoe. Uh, it feels quite firm. Um, quite springy as well, actually. Quite uh, quite springy. Uh, I think it's going to be nice on the toe off. Quite firm on the toe off. Um, I'm hoping this is going to fit me. Uh, I really do hope this fits me because if the size is slightly off, this is a size men's US 10. Uh, normally I'm about 27 centimeters. I'm trying to go on centimeters. One thing, a big thing I've gotten with lately is heard of centimeters. So the distance, but obviously from the front to the back to the shoe. I'm a 28 centimeter, my foot's about 27, so I give myself about one centimeter in the front of the shoe to make my sh toes so they don't bang onto the front of the shoe if my foot slides a little bit in the shoe while I'm running, especially while I'm racing. Um, let's have a look. Uh, upper in the shoe, ooh, I'm feeling, it's feeling good. It's feeling nice and uh, nice and soft, uh, especially in the, in the heel collar here. I think if you can see uh, in the heel collar, it's got a tiny little bit of a, um, padding in the back here to kind of stop your Achilles rubbing in the shoe. Uh, I've never run in a brook shoe ever. So this is the first time I'm going to run in a brook shoe. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty excited to test this out. And what do you reckon about the shoe, Rach? Yeah, that's shit. Oh, you just got to go for 361. 361. Rachel says 361. Um, I say I'm not sure about brooks. I'm, I'm, my honest opinion about the shoe so far is I'm not sure, but I'm very much willing to give it a try. I, I like the stack height. The stack height is really big. I mean, that's a solid stack height. I don't have the calipers yet. I'm not cool as uh, some of the other running testers out there where they got the calipers and they go and measure how exactly thick the shoe is. But this is really thick. Um, and yeah, the DNA flash foam is quite interesting. 
I see the plate, you can see where they've uh, kind of glued the two pieces of the DNA foam together here. And I'm not 100% sure how the plate is placed in this racing shoe. Uh, it's a marathon racing shoe obviously as well. Due to the stack height, I wouldn't say you'd do a 5K in this shoe. Although who knows, maybe it's extremely fast and you can head out a 5K in the shoe. I'll let you know once I've reviewed this shoe properly. Uh, so yeah, this is just my initial review of the shoe. And the let's go on to the tongue of the shoe. So this tongue is quite thin. Um, but yeah, obviously all the new racing shoes nowadays, the upper is literally extremely minimal. Uh, the heel counter uh, on this one is extremely soft as well. It doesn't have much support in the heel. Um, the shoelaces, let's have a feel. Mm, reasonable shoelaces, they don't feel, they feel very, very thin. So uh, hopefully we'll see they don't cut into the top of my foot uh, while I'm running in the top of it. Uh, and I think all in all, let's have a look, let's go on to the rubber. It's extremely wide. This is a, I mean, this is my hand on the shoe, if you have a look. Uh, it's extremely wide forefoot. This forefoot looks massive. Um, and a very, very thick midfoot as well. The midfoot's also quite wide, much wider than some other carbon plate shoes out there. And the heel also looks uh, extremely wide. So that's a very, kind of reminds me of a hoker. Still the real truth. I mean, I didn't say that, but kind of looks like a hoker. Uh, hopefully it doesn't feel like a hoker. No offense to Hoka or any of the other brands out there to tell the truth, but uh, yeah, let's have a look. Another thing we'll do, let's do the squeeze test. Kind of like this one. I've seen it uh, on some of the other guys' reviews, so let's kind of have a have a go at it. Uh, let's see if I can push this foam in here. Uh, I would say medium, medium density, not very soft. Kind of medium, medium uh, firmness for the shoe. Uh, the heel, this kind of looks like the back of one of those the South African buses that kind of goes up like this. The buses are old school in South Africa and if you drive you might crash under the back of the bus. That's not great. So don't run too close behind someone running in these shoes because you might get stuck under the heel of the shoe. Just that putting it out there, that might be the case. Um, yeah, let's have, a, well, let's have a smell test. Smells like new Mercedes or BMW car. I'm liking the smell, guys. I'm liking the smell, Brooks. The new smell is good. So that's great. In case you like to smell your shoes, this one does smell great. You're weird. Now. It smells good now. Maybe after running, it doesn't smell that good. I'm not weird. What are you talking about? Who smells their shoes? Who smells new shoes is the question. Old oh, shoes, gosh. yes. But have a smell. Smell the shoe? I'm pretty sure that doesn't last very long. Doesn't that? Smells good to me. Yeah, I'll give you guys my full review after I've done a couple of runs in this shoe. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this initial review on the Brooks Hyperion Elite 2 with DNA flash foam. That is a mouthful. I like the color. Okay, so I've got them on my feet. Let's have a feel here. This feels weird. This heel part here at the back. That part there, you actually do feel that back piece rolling up a little bit. So if you're a heel striker, kind of feels like you're leaning backwards a bit. See how that feels. Maybe it'll wear in a bit, but initial feel, soft. Nice and soft. I've still got the tags on. I'll take the tags off. Uh, very wide. Forefoot, very, very wide. If you like my South African socks, they're from Versus. You can buy them from South Africa. There's a little plug in here, and my legs need a shave. Yes, 100% correct. But yeah, feel nice and soft. Big fan, soft soft shoes. Nice roll off the toe, I feel a nice roll off the toe. That's all you guys are getting for now, I'll do the full review coming shortly.